Hello, welcome to Einstein Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to look at index of a matrix, the inverse of a matrix. So basically, we have types of matrices. We have a 2 by 2, a 3 by 3, that's for the square matrices, and say a 4 by 4. In this episode, we are going to focus on inverse of a matrix starting from the 2 by 2 matrix. So, what do we have to know? If I'm given a matrix A as, say, matrix A represented by AIG as the matrix, to find the inverse of matrix A, that will be the inverse equal to a certain matrix given. Are you okay? So this is how to write the inverse of a matrix. So say I have matrix B as BI. The inverse of this matrix will be B inverse. A certain matrix that are we good. So this is a representation of the inverse of a particular matrix. So given that A is now represented by matrix a b c and d the formula to find the inverse of the matrix a which is a inverse is giving us one multiplying or one divided by the delta of a so first you find the delta determinant of the matrix which is the principal diagonal Multiplication of the element minus the minor diagonal. Then you are going to multiply it with a matrix from this, which is in this case you interchange the position of A and D. So D will be here, then A will come to the position of D. Then you negate the minor diagonal. So that would negative B, negative C. With this, you find the inverse of a matrix. Let's look at for matrix B. So we have B given us, say, alpha, beta, and let's say this as this matrix. So B inverse is going to be one on the determinant of matrix, the original matrix B multiplying you interchange the position of the principal diagonal the element which is so now theta will come then alpha here then you negate the minor diagonals negative this way so with this you will find the inverse of matrix e taking a further can we say a inverse will be equal to one on Delta of the matrix A will be AD minus BC multiplying that, which is D negative B negative C A. And for matrix B, its inverse is going to be 1 on delta, which is alpha theta minus beta gamma or multiplying that and with this you'll be able to find the inverse of any matrix let's check out for this example so example one let's try to find the inverse of so find a inverse such that our matrix a is giving us 7 to 17 5 so we have this matrix and we are to find a inverse first we know the formula that we will need the determinant of matrix a so let's find the determinant of matrix a and that is going to be a d since it's a 2 by 2 matrix this way and this is equal to so 7 by 5 minus 
we have 17 minus or by 2 and with this the determinant is going to be 1 so delta of a is 1 a inverse is now giving us 1 on the determinant of a multiplying this matrix we interchange the position of 7 and 5 on the principal diagonal so that will be 5 7 and we negate the minor diagonal negative 2 negative 17 this way and this is equal to the determinant of a is 1 as that multiplying 5 negative 2 negative 17 and 7 and you know one on one is just one multiplying everything here is just the inverse of the matrix so the inverse of this matrix is going to be 5 negative 2 negative 17 and 7 are we okay all right in order to check if your inverse matrix is correct anytime you multiply a matrix a by its inverse is supposed to give you the identity matrix this way so you can multiply this matrix which is the inverse by the original matrix and you get the identity matrix and we know that the identity matrix for a two by two which is one zero zero one are you okay so you can test for that example two So let's try to see, given that our matrix A is 4, 3, 3, 2, let's try to find A inverse. Always the inverse of a matrix is also a matrix of the same order. So all these examples are under the 2 by 2 matrix so here first we can find the determinant of the matrix which is delta of a and that is going to be 4 by 2 minus 3 by 3 and the determinant is going to be negative 1 this way are we okay and we know that a inverse is going to be 1 on the determinant of a negative one multiplying the matrix where we interchange two and four we negate negative three negative three this way are you okay so here this is equal to that this is equal to the negation one on one is one negative of two negative three negative three and four already we know how to multiply a scalar this is a scalar of negative one yes so we know how to multiply a scalar by a matrix therefore the inverse of this matrix is going to be negative to that will be negative two negative to that will be positive three this will be positive three and this will be negative four so this is the inverse of matrix a Let's check out for the last one. So given that, or uh, let's find B inverse such that matrix B is a two by two matrix five one eight two. Our solution. Now determinant of matrix B is going to be five by two minus 8 by 1 and that is going to give us what 2 for the determinant and b inverse is going to be 1 on the determinant which is 2 multiplying we interchange 5 and 2 we negate this part this way so now this is a scalar now we have to multiply through b inverse is going to be a matrix 
2 on 2, negative 1 on 2, negative 8 on 2, and 5 on 2. We can reduce this further to a matrix 1, negative half, negative 4, and 5 on 2. So this is the inverse of matrix P. In order to verify if we are correct, B by B inverse should give you the identity matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. You can check this out to see if your answer is correct. Thank you for watching this episode. Check out for the next episode for inverse of 3 by 3 matrix.